going to go ahead and exit out. Well, actually, I could, didn't need to exit out. Sorry about that. I should have just stayed in. I need to switch files because I'm going to work in a um, blank design file for the most part, right? So I'm going to work in a blank design file that I just titled Utilities from Graphics. And so I've just referenced in that um, survey data. Now, in my case, I exported my survey graphics to a DGM file as, an, as a, another option. So that file that I'm referencing, once it comes up, you'll see that I've got my terrain file referenced in, and I've got um, my survey, exported survey graphics, if you will. So our goal now is to kind of you know, explore the um, feature definitions for a minute, kind of get a handle on, you know, what we're going to create. And so in this file, we've, like I said, we've got water lines, communication, underground communication, overhead communication. Um, we've got existing drainage information. So here I've got some, some water lines, underground water. Um, zoom over here towards the interchange. I've got underground electric or communications, if you will, fiber optic cable. So we're going to be um, creating that information. And before I do that, let's just go through and take a quick look at the feature definitions. So everything that you extract, will, you'll be assigning a feature definition to, whether it's a node or a conduit. And so for example, you know, if I look at the this particular type of feature, com, communication duct, um, you can see, you know, its name and all the typical feature definition information. Um, but you're gonna, you'll have a certain function type, network type. So that would be different than, for example, a gas line. So those are unique properties to that type of element that, that kind of come with the software. But I want to draw your attention to kind of towards the bottom, the bottom three, the shape of the conduit. Okay, so that's something that you'd want to make sure is correct. And then, and that's, again, for 3D purposes, we're going to extrude that. And then how are we going to extrude it from and the elevations that we're we're extracting out of and creating the graphic from where they where's that circle start? Is it the soffit that we're given at the elevations or is it the invert? Is it the, is it the center of the structure? So those are unique to this particular feature definition. So you want to make sure those are what you want. So if you're assuming this is three, three to four feet below ground, maybe, you know, that that location below ground is what? The soffit or the invert? And then finally, um, what's different about dry utilities versus um, drainage utilities like stormwater pipes and such, and, and also sewer, sanitary sewer, is that, that there's a conduit table for dry utilities like communication, electric, and that stuff. So that's, if you're familiar with drainage and utilities, you know that there's, in stormwater, there's a conduit table. Well, this would be the conduit table for the dry utilities. And I just want to point out this column, the unit length. So as you, if, if you were going to extract um, a linear element along a terrain, it's going to try to you know, minimize the amount of vertices on this pipe that it's creating uh, to a unit length of every 20 feet, if you will. So that's one way to kind of minimize the amount of vertices. So obviously, the smaller the number, the more vertices, the more closely it will follow that terrain. And so, for example, let me just um, grab the extract uh, utilities from graphic command, and I'm going to extract a communications duct here, a comms duct. And I, it's depending on what version, I can't remember what version we came up, but we added the ability to set a feature definition for the node as you extract it as well. So you get to choose what type of node, and I'm just going to say fiber access point. And of course, you want the node and the feature of the pipe to match. So you don't want to, you can't, you can extract a stormwater node on a communications duct or, or communications element. So I'm going to use the selection method. I'm going to go ahead and pick that particular pipe. Um, that's all I'm going to use. I'm not going to use its 3D element because that was the ground surface. I'm going to use a terrain surface, and I'm going to set it, let's say, four feet below, or yeah, let's go five feet below. And let's select that. And you can kind of see the information here on the left-hand panel. It's created a link. It's given it all its information based on the feature definition. And 
if I take a look at it in profile, you can see that it follows the ground surface. But if you zoom in close enough, you'll see that it's it's only picked up points every 20 feet. Now that's not going to be consistently 20 the whole way from start to finish because there are peaks and valleys along the terrain and it's got to account for those as well. Let me switch over and look at this in, in another way. I'm going to look at this in the geometry tools. Let me grab the table editor and let's take a look at it in there to kind of clarify that point. Again, you can see from the table that it's got, you know, every 20 feet. And then, of course, peaks and valleys it's got to get. So sometimes that back tangent's not 20. So it kind of gives you an idea. And you can, one thing with utilities as well is you can use any of the geometry tools to modify those if you need to. So, for example, here we'll just make a change. Um, so between station two and three, 200 and 300, for example, let's say I want to get rid of that point. I'll just delete that. I'll right click, delete another one. Here, let's keep doing that for a little bit. There you go. That's something strange. So we'll go ahead and, or noticeable, if you will. So go ahead and apply that fix or that edit. Of course, I'm done with the table editor, but it's it's gone ahead and updated the, the pipe as well. So you can modify and change those. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.